to episode one of our football series from JNC. And today we're going to be talking about um, the scores to the games of week six in college football, power rankings, because uh, the rankings haven't came out yet for college. So we're going to be, because we had some big games this week and some upsets. So we're definitely going to be looking at that and say, uh, talking about what our power rankings are. We're going to be looking at ESPNs and trying to, you know, keeping some, changing some up, depending on what we think. And we're also going to be talking about our predictions of the game um, winners for week five of NFL. So let's see you guys in um, our game talking of week six. All right, so we're going to start off with college football. We're yep. up here. Week um, six. So week six. On Thursday, we had... Yeah. Coastal Carolina com comes up with a big win, 52-20 to over Arkansas State, 6-0 for Coastal Carolina. Pretty good season so far. They did, they did really good last season, actually. Mm -hmm. Maybe they'll be able to get into the top 10 sometime this season. Cincinnati with a f win by a, a 49 yep, over 52 Temple. 52-3 on Friday. They're also undefeated. Yep, they're 5-0. and They must have had to buy already and then something that's really big here texas a&m upset of alabama on uh saturday game winning field yesterday goal. and then also on friday there was arizona state versus stanford mm -hmm. but and arizona state's five and one as the win so upset texas a&m beat alabama yep. that's a pretty big upset so mm -hmm. that's yep all right and then uh georgia uh, beat Auburn 34 to 10, so a 24 point win by that. They're now 6 and 0. So yeah, our predictions. I think George is going to slide up into number one. Mm -hmm. That's an action up there, and then the biggest game of the week, in my opinion. Yep. Penn State Iowa, both were undefeated going into this game. Both from the Big Ten, and ranked fourth and third mm -hmm. as well. It's a very close game, very action packed. Iowa comes up with it, 23 to 20. Yep. And uh, for a second, I thought Penn State was going to win because in the first quarter, Penn State was up 14-3. to Yeah, then Sean Clifford got hurt, and that changed yep. everything. Mm -hmm. So, so I really Iowa want... is now 6-0, and and Penn State's 5-1. and mm -hmm. So this, this game, Oklahoma and Texas. So Texas was up by so much in, like, the first half. Like, mm -hmm. they're, like, Oklahoma, like, looked like they are about to lose by a lot. Yeah, it was 38-20. to so they by took the, out their by um, half time. They take out Spencer, Spencer Rattler or whatever, however you say his last name. Yeah. And I put in um Caleb. I forgot his last name, but they he, they they put him in and then Oklahoma with a big comeback mm -hmm. wins fifty five. And they were yeah, and now Oklahoma is six and zero. Oh. In my opinion, I think that they might go down on that one actually, and the in the rankings. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know how they, they barely lost or they barely won to a 21 uh, ranked team. They might stay. We might move them up by one. Might drop them down by one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It, it kind of depends. Ohio State blows out Maryland. Yep. 66 to 17. Very big game. Um, Ohio State was ranked seventh going into this, and now they're five and one. I forgot who they lost to, but. They lost to some team. Yeah, I think they lost to Oregon. Oh, yeah. They might have. And then Michigan-Nebraska. This is a pretty uh, old-time matchup, definitely. Mm -hmm. They, you know, they're both pretty good teams. And um, Nebraska, uh, their record doesn't show what kind of team they are. Yeah. They're a fighting team, you know. They yeah, have a fighting they, spirit. They, they're a good team. They just play so many good teams in the Big Ten mm -hmm. that they can't Yeah, the really... Big Ten is a scary... There's, like... Five people that probably will end up being in the top ten. Top ten, yeah. And uh, Michigan was going into this at ninth, and they're, they won it by three points. They're now 6-0, and oh, so they're probably going to move up by one or two spaces. Mm -hmm. So Nebraska in that game scored all their points in the second half. Yes. And it wasn't so, an away game at night, so it's even tougher for Michigan yeah. to kind of recover after that. But they pulled it off. Yep, Boise State... Big upset. Beat, big upset. Twenty six to seventeen. They beat BYU, who was ranked tenth. So now BYU's five and one. 
So we get some unfamiliar names up here in the top 15, you know. Mm -hmm. so everything's just changing. We don't even know who's going to be in the playoffs or not. Mm -hmm. Michigan State going into this playing Rutgers ranked 11th. And they pull out a big win, 31-13. to A pretty big win. Their running back was really, really good. Um, Peyton Thorne. Is mm -hmm. that the running back? Yeah, he's oh, good. No, he's not. He's not there. He's their quarterback. Quarterback, yeah, quarterback. And um, they they played really well. Uh, they they played a good game. They, they a couple are, records. They are now six and zero. Oh. So we're probably gonna bump them up by like at least two. But. Mm -hmm. All right. This so, is just our guesses yeah. on our power rankings. Okay. We're gonna have actual power rankings after this. Our next game is um, Ole Miss and Arkansas. Close game. Close game. Seventeen. Yeah, Ole Miss was the seventeen that. One by one point, 52 to 50, 51. 51. And I have a story to tell you why, if you weren't watching or haven't heard any of it. So Arkansas scored a touchdown with, like, barely any time left. And then they decided to go for two to win the game. Mm -hmm. And then he overthrew his wide receiver, and that's how the game ended. Ole Miss. So if they got that, it would have been 50. Three to fifty-two, but no. Nope. Yeah, Lane Kiffin and Ole Miss lucked out there. So right? Ole Miss is four and one, Arkansas four and two. Notre Dame with the, only a three-point win, thirty-two to twenty-nine over yep. Virginia. Yeah, they were going into this ranked fourteenth, and we might move them backwards because they're they are five and one, but they're barely they're narrowly winning by quite a bit of these mm -hmm. games. So, <laughs> and Kentucky doubles LSU's points, twenty-one to forty-two. Mm -hmm. So they're they were going in this ranked sixteen. Now they're six. Now they're six and zero. So that's pretty good. Yeah. And they're four and zero from the SEC. See so their so. second half. Uh, Kentucky's second half was better than their first half. But LSU scored all of their points in the second half. So they may have had a chance if they could stop Kentucky in the first half. It would have been a close game there. Right. Wake Forest beat Syracuse in overtime. Forty to thirty. Forty to thirty seven. Uh, Wake Forest was was ranked nineteenth going into this. They're now uh, six and zero, oh, so they're probably gonna move up a few spaces. Yeah. Sam Hartman for um, Wake Forest. Yeah, it's a good game. Three hundred thirty yards, three touchdowns. Yep. And then we have Vanderbilt versus Florida. Huge um, blowout. Huge blowout. Forty two to zero. Um, Vanderbilt is not having a good season. Yeah, they're two and four, which I guess is better than zero oh and six. Did you see like a but. couple weeks ago or like a week ago? Georgia blew out Vanderbilt and almost had as much points as Vanderbilt had yards. See, that just shows how their defense oh, wow. and offense could use a lot of work. Yeah, that's really bad. <laughs> and Florida was like 20th going into this, and now it's in their 4-2. SMU um, beat beat Navy by just one touchdown, 31-24. to Navy's now 1-4, and four, not too well so far. And SMU 6-0. and oh, So they're probably going to be moving up a few spaces, definitely. Mm -hmm. And then our final game is San Diego State versus New Me Mex Mexico. San Diego, San Diego State um, won 31-7. to seven. Or, They were ranked 25th, so barely in the top 25. And they're now 5-0, and oh, so... We might be seeing uh, coming in. They're all, they're always kind of that medium team where they're barely in, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. Greg Bell had a pretty good game for them. Yep. So uh, we will see you then in power rankings. Alrighty, welcome to our power rankings. In this, we're going to be doing the top twenty-five, looking at ESPN's power rankings. Uh, these are not released yet. These are ESPN's guesses, and we are going to be kind of tweaking them changing them some of them will probably stay the same so um let's check it out so georgia in first at six and oh huh? i think that I, I i could support that i can support that as well i think that they should definitely um keep them there at first or move up to first i think that would be a smart decision they'd be an 18 seed by 24 points so that's pretty good mm -hmm. and then iowa is Next. also six. I I also think that's a good that's a good choice because yep. they, they just you know slid up one slide, mm -hmm. but um I do think that it is really close between Iowa and Georgia because Iowa beat a number four team, mm -hmm. and Georgia beat a number eighteen team. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. But Georgia is still looking good. So, but the SEC and the B Big Ten so next are both very good. So I, I can see these teams are like about balanced. Mm -hmm. And then um, third, Cincinnati. I don't really think that they should be third. I don't know about Caleb. Um, I I think that they should be fourth or fifth. Um, I I really don't think I think they yeah. were sixth when they played. Yeah. I don't remember. I, I did have they, a, they did have a really good um, game against Temple, but mm -hmm. it's but Temple. Temple, yeah, it's Temple. So I think that they should probably be ranked fifth. Would be my choice for them. All right, Oklahoma Sooners. They're fourth. I think they so they barely beat Texas. So the freshman Caleb Williams. Yeah, it was the reasons why they won that game. I think they're they ranked them fourth, but I think they should stay at sixth. Yeah, because they, um, they were behind, like they were just kind of hustling to catch up. I think if they end up playing a better team mm -hmm. or a team you know that has it can hold up for the whole game with their defense and I stop think them from scoring, they probably would have lost that game. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I'll give them credit for the comeback there. Yes, they, Alabama. So this is this was definitely a uh, a big loss. Unexpected. Unexpected. Loss. Um, I'm an Alabama fan, so I don't like you know I I'm not favoring them uh, in this, but I think that um, there was like a hundred and eight thousand people cheering for the other team, so I think it was pretty tough on them, and they only lost by three points. So I think they should be ranked fourth. Fourth. Okay. What about you? I think that's a pretty reasonable spot. Mm -hmm. um, because, yeah, Cincinnati would be fifth, Oklahoma would stay at sixth, and I think Alabama would go to fourth. So Michigan. Caleb, what do you think about Michigan here? I think they um <clears throat> played a pretty good game. Mm -hmm. They could have done a lot better. It's just like also how Jordan said with the Alabama game, just a bunch of fans. Michigan, you know, it's a night game away. You know, it's hard to... You know, hard to feel it, you know, because, mm -hmm. you know, like there's like a hundred thousand people against you mm -hmm. in yeah. a night game, you know, and same situation Alabama was in, mm -hmm. but they did, they were able to pull off a win there. Mm -hmm. Good kicker. But then we said, uh, so they're, they were ranked, uh, they were ranked ninth. ninth and you put Oklahoma at sixth. I think they should be seventh. Seventh. Okay. Seventh. So Michigan State. Michigan State. What do you think of them? Um, I, so Michigan State went in going at this game at 11th, and they really only beat Rutgers, so it wasn't a huge, huge thing. I think they should be 8th. Eight. 8th, eight, okay. ESPN put them at 7th, and they put Michigan at 6th, but I think those two should be shifted back one way. Alright, Ohio State. They did have a. They had a really good game in Maryland. Mm -hmm. They look like they're back. I yeah. I still think Michigan, and or Michigan State could beat them. I still think that yeah, they're they're, those be, they're two. beatable. Like yeah. them and Alabama, you know, all those old power teams, they're beatable. Mm -hmm. Georgia's it's beatable. just hard. It, yeah, it's just hard. You know, that's what I like about upsets sometimes because Texas A and M proved that Alabama is still beatable. They're not like an untouchable team. Mm -hmm. So, I think Ohio State, so we put Michigan State at 8. ESPN put them at 8. Uh, I I don't know what they were coming in at this. I think they may have stayed the same. I don't know. Hmm. I think that we sh I would put Ohio State at 9th. Ninth. 9th, ninth. okay. So, we're just going to move everybody back one. Yeah, <laughs> not totally, though. Kentucky. They put them at ninth, and I uh, feel I, they, I, I, they, they, were, they were 16th going into this game, and they beat, they won one game and went up seven ranks. That's quite a bit. Yeah, I, I think I, I would put them at 11. I, I'm put, I'm taking them completely out of the top 10. Like, yeah. I'm putting they them. They beat LSU, which isn't even, like, they're a decent team, but, like, but LSU isn't, team. like... An insane team. Like I think Penn State should be definitely ahead mm -hmm. of them because they're mm -hmm. Penn State. They said they were going to be number ten. So I, I Penn State. Yeah, I would put Kentucky at twelfth, 
And then they put Penn State at 10th, and I totally agree with that. Do you agree with that? Yeah. I agree that Penn State should be at 10th. And then, what about you? What do you think? I think, like, if we were, like, to mix up the ranks a little bit, like, I'm just going to put them at a spot, like, I think they should be at, like, seven. But, like, t- like, we already we already taken that up by, like, a different team. By Michigan? Yeah. But, like, I think the way, like, because their star quarterback got hurt. So that doesn't really say anything about how good they are, though. Mm-hmm. And, like, and- they went down from fourth to tenth, but they lost by... Not that many points mm-hmm. against a team that was ranked one more better than them. Mm-hmm. So I do not support them being number 10. Yeah. Unless Strong Clifford is going to be out for a while. If he's coming back next game or close to that, you know, they're, def- they're going to be yeah. back. Yeah. It's tough. Like, people don't realize how hard it is picking these ranks. It's tough. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Oregon at 11th. Uh, I agree. They mm-hmm. beat Ohio State. I don't think there was a need to change. I think that 11th. They did lose to Stanford in overtime. Yeah, but so, yeah. And but then Oklahoma State at twelve. The Cowboys are doing pretty good. I think. I think that's good. We're gonna go to the fifteenth rank, though. We're not gonna go all the way to twenty-five. Yeah. So I think Oklahoma stay where they are. Because mm-hmm. well, yeah, I think fifteenth will be better because going to twenty-five would be. 10 teams that aren't even, like, the best, so. Okay. And then Ole Miss. Ole Miss. Do you know what rank they were before? I think they were seven. Oh, they were 17th, I think. 17th. 13th. Um, Did they lose or win? They beat Arkansas, didn't they? Mm-hmm. I well, think they were 17th, thir- beating I, a, I think a sh- 13 seed team. And they went to 13. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them back in rank because, as it says, they didn't make very many stops yeah. since it was a high-scoring game. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to put burst, them at 14. If they burst like a, power off, like a power offense that has a good defense, it's they're not, mm-hmm. they can't win that game if their defense can't make stops. Yeah, so I would put them at 14. Coastal Carolina, I think I would put them at 15th. 15th. I would move him back rank. I don't like. No, actually, I'm gonna move him back further. I'm gonna put him back at like 18th because they've been playing such easy teams, and just because they're six and zero doesn't mean that they should be 14th. So I'm gonna put them back to 18th. Okay. Notre Dame. Our last team. Our last is. team. This is a tough one. See, let's let's read like a little bit of the description here. It was back and forth, I guess. Yeah, and they beat Virginia Tech mm. barely by three points. Yeah, I'm picking them to number 17th. Mm-hmm. I think that the 17th. they're still better than Coastal Carolina, obviously. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I think we put them at 17th. All right. So that is our power ranking. So we can go over it one more time? Yeah. So Georgia so, first, okay. Iowa second. Cincinnati is we put them at six, six. Well, fifth. Who put who? Who do we put in third? Um. Ooh, that's. T- I don't think we put a team at third. I don't think we did either. It's fine. We don't. We don't need one. We're just so, kind of. Yeah. So we're just kind of mixing up the rings mm-hmm. a little bit. You guys yeah. can check it out yourself. And yeah. See what you. So think about we would put here. yeah Georgia at first, Iowa at second, Cincinnati at uh, at. Sit at fifth, Oklahoma at sixth, because we said we would keep them. Alabama at fourth, uh, Michigan at seventh, and then keep on going. Michigan State at eighth, Ohio State. Mm-hmm. What do we put them at? Nine. Yeah. Yeah, I think nine. Kentucky. I we put them at. Uh, actually, I think maybe Cincinnati could stay number three for now, because they're, they're they're putting together a good season yeah. so far. Mm-hmm. And then uh, obviously, yeah, so Oklahoma fourth and, sixth. Yeah. So it what we do is um Georgia first, Iowa second, Cincinnati third, Alabama fourth, and then fifth would be Michigan. Yeah. No. Uh, fifth would be 
Penn State. Penn, fifth Penn State. Yep. Sixth. Sixth. No, fourth is Alabama. Yeah, fourth is Alabama. Fifth, fifth is Penn, Penn State. State. Sixth is Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Seventh, seventh is Michigan. Eighth, Michigan eighth, State. Eighth, Michigan State. Ninth. Ninth. Ohio State. Yep. Kentucky's like 12. Yeah, Kentucky's 12, probably. Penn um, State. State. Oh, we already did that. Yeah, we put them at um, fifth. Oregon, I think we could. Yeah, we, we left them there. Okay. Yeah, we left them at 11th. So this is not really complete. Mm -hmm. We just kind of listed about their ranks. It's not even close to it. Mm -hmm. It's not like exact. Like we just like kind of ranking them based on like how we think they're gonna do. Mm -hmm. There there might be some gaps in there that we could fix at some point. Yep. But um, let's move on to our NFL matchup predictions. All right. So on to our NFL um prediction games. So right now, as we're filming this, there's a, like a game in London, and it is Jets. I think it's in London. It's Jets Falcons, both one and three. There's two minutes left in the fourth, in the third quarter, and Falcons are up twenty to nine. So and I think the Falcons yeah, I think the Falcons are going to hold on for one, definitely. And then at one, we have Packers versus Bengals. Both teams are three and one. Um, this is, a, this is a tough one. Bengals are home. I think Aaron Rodgers is going to have a good game, though. Mm -hmm. I guess, yeah. I, I think... It's going to be close. It's definitely going to be very close. But I um, think Packers may have him by, like, a touchdown. Yeah, I think Packers may win Because Bengals, you know, they have, like, a, a little, like, closer to, like, a rookie quarterback than, you know, Aaron Rodgers has been there for a oh, while. Oh, he's been there for a while. Lions and then we have Lions versus Vikings. Vikings. Lions 0 and 4, which by the way, Lions and Jaguars are the only two teams 0 and 4 right now. So, and then Vikings 1 and 3. I think I think uh in Vikings are home. It's Minnesota, so it's a pretty tough condition to play in. Mm -hmm. I think Vikings are going to probably beat them by two touchdowns. Two touchdowns. Okay. Yeah. Broncos Steelers. Um, Broncos three and one, Steelers one it's and three. It's at the Steelers, but um, looking at the yeah game, loss, Broncos are pretty good. Their only loss was to Ravens, and Ravens are very good. So I think we, I think I'm gonna put Broncos winning by one or two touchdowns. Yeah, maybe ten points. Mm -hmm. Good. Buccaneers, Dolphins. Um, Buccaneers three and one, Dolphins one and three. I think Tua got hurt. For Dolphins. But, so I think And then Buccaneers have Tom Brady. Yeah. So So I think Buccaneers Buccaneers would do it. And they're you know, they were Super Bowl champs last year. So. Yeah. I think they'll win by probably but and it's at Tampa Bay. Touchdowns. And it's at Tampa Bay. So yeah. I mean I guess it doesn't matter that much Dolphins since they're right, next to, right next to each other. But, and same weather conditions. Yeah. I, I would say it's gonna be a win for Buccaneers by two touchdowns. Saints Washington. I think the Saints, like they, their first game. They're was both back. two and two, as well. Yeah, and they're one and one away, and Washington's one and one at home, and it's at um. What is that? I think it's like a substitute for Saints home game since they can't go at their stadium yet. I don't think. What happened again? Hurricane. Oh yeah, hurricane. So it's um, uh, it's called FedEx Field. <laughs> apparently so so i i forgot where they're yeah somewhere so it's landover md what is that? maryland i think md stands for maryland so maybe they're playing in maryland all right i don't know so and um i predict saints are gonna pull the win yep like they played they had a, they had a really good first game against the packers mm -hmm. yeah so right. i think they're gonna pull moving the win. on to the eagles and the panthers panthers are looking really good right now yeah they're three and one and eagles are one and three um i yeah i think panthers are gonna pull it by a touchdown by a touchdown i mean the eagles are decent they're one and three it's so kind of like that's kind of like the mediocre type thing so right now yeah titans jaguars Jaguars 0 and 4 are are um it's our it's other team. That's a Jaguars field. And Titans are 2 and 2. And um, the way Jaguars are playing, I think it might be a touchdown game. 
For the Titans. For the Titans, yeah. Because it's, it's a way, you know, Titans have Derrick Henry, but the Jaguars, they still got, they got people. Mm -hmm. It's just that they can't pull up a win. Yeah. Patriots-Texans. Um, they're both one and three. I think this is going to be a close one. This they're both one and three. Be a fun one ESPN says they're going to win by eight points, but New I disagree. England is win by eight points. Yeah, New England is going to be uh, win by eight points. I I think it's going to be closer than eight points. I think it's going to be closer than time. I think it might be a field goal. Some I can't tell who's going to win. I think it's going to be Mac Jones pulling up with a win. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think Patriots. He's having a good season. He's. 112 for 160 attempts, 1,012 yards, and four touchdowns. So he's That's pretty good. putting together a pretty good season. Uh -huh. It's just the rest since, of the especially team. Especially since he's a rookie. Yep. And then Bears Raiders. Raiders 3 and 1, Bears 2 and 2. I think. Raiders, Raiders. Yeah, Raiders, Raiders 3 and 1. Raiders are really good. Bears 2 and 2. I think Raiders are going to pull up a win by a touchdown. Yeah, Raiders are pretty good. They're they're doing really good right now. Browns Chargers. Browns Chargers. So both three and one. This is gonna be a close one. I think this is gonna be a really good close game. Um, because Browns. Justin Herbert mm -hmm. is Chargers QB, but then ba Browns have um um uh, just forgot his name now. Um, Baker Mayfield. Yeah, and. Um, they, and, uh, Browns also have Nick Chubb as well. Mm -hmm. I think Browns are going to be able to pull a slight win on this. Maybe by a field goal as well. I think this game will be as close as the Patriots-Texans. Okay. So, next, Giants-Cowboys. Yep. Giants 1-3, and three, Cowboys 3-1. Three and one. Um, yeah. going for Cowboys by two a touchdown. touchdown. Yeah. Two I, touchdown. I, I'm saying Cowboys by about 10 points, so a touchdown and a field of, goal. Yeah, around there. Yeah. Alright. 49ers Cardinals. Cardinals is the only team 4-0. Mm -hmm. And um I'm gonna go I I'm gonna have to go with the undefeated team here. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be Yeah. A, I think it I think they'll win by a by a touchdown. Because 49ers are two and two. Mm -hmm. So I think it's gonna be a touchdown. I think it might be for me, because it's a home game, so I think it might be two touchdowns because if you look at Kyler Murray's stats. He's 102 oh, yeah, for 134, really 1,273 yards, and nine touchdowns. Yeah, that's even better than Mac Jones. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going to be a two-touchdown win, and that might be our first team 5-0. and oh. That's going to be kind of nice, first and only. So. All right, Bills-Chiefs. This is the night game, and it's Bills-Chiefs. ESPN Chiefs. has Chiefs by three points. Mm -hmm. Bills, three and one, Chiefs, two and two. I'm going to put it the other way. I think Bills are going to win by three points. I, I support that. Mm -hmm. Patrick Mahomes is having a great season. It's just his team, his, his defense, mm -hmm. can't pull it together. He has one, he's yep. 102 for 141, 1,218 yards, and 14 touchdowns already. Yep. And then we'll also talk about the Thursday game that happened last Thursday. It's Rams-Seahawks. Rams were 4-0 when they played. Mm -hmm. But... Um, I was hoping they might get five and zero, but nope. Rams won. Sorry, sorry. Rams were three and one. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. That I just that made sense now. That makes sense. Okay. So Rams were three and one and won by eleven points. So Russell Wilson hurts his finger in that game. I wonder how that will affect the Seahawks. Yeah, I mean it's not a huge injury, and that's good that he's not really hurt. So like, but it also affects the Seahawks. He is a quarterback, so he does need it. He does mm -hmm. need that. And then the Monday game is Colts Ravens. Colts one and three. Ravens three and one. I'm gonna say Ravens win by two touchdowns. Yeah, I think just because. Um, and it's home to Ravens. Yeah, I think as well. just because you know Colts they don't have their uh, quarter like their good quarterback. Like he retired, I think. Uh, oh, it's uh, so have, Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz. So he came yeah. from the Eagles. Yeah. But I think last well, year. And then they had yeah they had some last oh, year Philip Rivers or something like. That. Oh yeah, Philip Rivers. That's who it was. So. Last year they had Philip Rivers. This year they have Carson Wentz, though, who got traded from Eagles. All right, uh, that so that wraps it up. Uh, we'll probably bring you another video next week on uh, week seven of college and week six of um, NFL. Thank you for watching. Tune yep. in for the next one, and we'll see you then. Goodbye.